dream big. That's what we're told. It's a lesson Connor Knighton tells us the folks in one small town have taken to heart. The sign on the outskirts of Casey, Illinois, claims that 3,000 people live here. It's being generous. The latest estimates are actually closer to 2,700. But the population is about the only thing in Casey that's smaller than you'd expect it to be. Oh gosh, it's hard to get the whole thing in. I feel like I gotta go, I gotta go low. Oh, there we go. Casey is home to the world's largest rocking chair and the world's largest pitchfork and the world's largest golf tee. From the largest mailbox in the world, you can look out on a main street that could be in any American small town. Now, you've lived here all your life? All my life, yeah. What was it like when you started to see some of these businesses close down? Uh, it's heartbreaking because when you grow up in a small community, I mean, you know everybody, so you see a, a town just kind of slowly dying off. The factories that once employed workers here have all closed or moved away. They packed up and left for bigger cities, leaving locals like Jim Bolin trying to figure out how to revive the tiny town he loves. Small towns, we have to try to come up and think outside the box to get people to come to our small communities and, and shop. It all started with this, the world's largest wind chime. Erected in 2011 to drive tourists to Jim's wife's cafe. The wind chime, when I first built it, I said, that's my fishing lure. We cast it out to the interstate and tried to reel people into our little small town here to see what we got. <laughs> and are you catching fish? Yes, we're catching fish. Bowen's experiment was such a success, he went on a giant building spree. His family owns a pipeline business, so he had easy access to the raw materials. Did you start to feel like a man on a mission? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and because at this point, I'm thinking, okay, what can we do for our town? So I'm looking at different businesses and trying to find something that would correlate with their business. So, free of charge, he gave the candy shop up the street a whimsical pair of the world's largest wooden shoes. Do people come in just to see the shoes? Yes, they come in to see the shoes, um, and then they find out it's in a candy store, so <laughs> it helps me as well. He built a set of knitting needles to attract visitors to Jeanette Husingay's yarn shop. Is it a challenge to stay in business in a small town like this? Very much, very much. If, if it were not for the gift of these knitting needles, I, I don't think I probably could, could have stayed. Yes, believe it or not, there are people who come just to see the world's largest knitting needles. The previous record holder of the knitting needles. How was there a number two? It just seems like number two would be a normal size knitting needle. <laughs> I'm shocked that there was another one you had to compete with. Yeah, I think it was in Sweden is where it was. When I was doing Bowen meticulously researches his creations and works with the Guinness World Record Organization to get them certified. Along the way, he's built plenty of large items around town that aren't necessarily record holders. This isn't even world's largest. This is just big. Yeah, right just, here. A, just a big pencil, yeah. <laughs> just, just a big a, pencil. Yeah. The collection of giant objects has put Casey, halfway between St. Louis and Indianapolis, on the map. What's been your favorite so far? Uh, the rock chair. <laughs> From the rocking chair, you can see the license plates of all the cars that stop by. And so those folks just shouted, they're from Pennsylvania? Yeah, is they're that, from Pennsylvania. Do you get people from all over? All over. California, Texas. And all these cars have given lifelong resident Jimmy Wilson a sight he thought he'd never see. The idea of a traffic jam in Casey, Illinois, is that a new concept? Oh my gosh, yes it is. And we have road rage now. Because <laughs> we have all these people coming to town and they're going so slow and gawking around that uh, people get upset. That's the kind of problem this town wants to have. And I'm telling you, I can't believe it. It's the greatest thing that's ever happened here. When the flag goes up on the giant mailbox, it means someone's dropped in another letter. A tourist, most likely, hoping to commemorate their trip. Just to know that people are excited about having a postmark from Casey, Illinois <laughs> on their mail, what's that feel like? It's pretty, it's pretty cool to see kids and, and people get excited about something that they're doing in Casey. It's just, uh, it's thrilling. It is, it's a, it's a special. Special feeling, yeah.
big dreams and a bigger heart. Yeah, so they had one. All in a small town.